So who's behind that? How does this happen? You know, was this something I chose on this? Because my choice, the choice I made was for a very happy, loving, great life to be together forever till death separate us. This is what I, I was signing up for. But what happened? You, you, you see that is that that's a part of what this was my karma is this at the end you're sitting there and look back all these different things happen in my life all these decisions I made some of them were successful and I got what I wanted and some of them I failed in it did I really make that did I make that happen or it was a part of the divine plan and it was meant to be that way because I bet with you there is no single human being on this planet who is consciously planning to for their life to be a disaster nobody wants their life to be a disaster I don't care if you're a heroin addict or you're a child minister, or you're a great healer, or you're a wonderful mom, everybody wants their life to be satisfactory and to get what they want. Whatever that is, whatever what they want is, it varies with different people. But does it happen that way? Always, no. So, Something influences our judgments. Something influences, you know, how many times, I can't tell you how many times I've met 32, 35 year old person that has two kids or one child with, it's a guy or it's a girl. And I go, well, how long, how did, how did this happen to you? And, the, and, they say, I don't know. I never wanted to have a kid. I never planned on having children. I don't know what happened. The next thing was she was pregnant and she was having a baby. And now we hate each other. And I never wanted to have something with this, with this woman. And I don't know what happened. I have this, I hear this story all the time from people. Well, what happened? How did that happen? How did you come to that choice? What influenced you to make those decisions? What influenced you that you only know someone for three months that you start having a child with? Are you kidding me? I only know this person for three months and I'm going to go into a lifetime contract with them, whether I'm going to be with them or not be with them. But now there's going to be another being in between us and we have to deal with each other for the rest of for at least next 20 years. How did I get into this one? And these are the things. This is just one example of, of in relationship to this, that in my investigation, when I go back to it and I see like, Oh my God, you know, this is all in the path. This was all laid down. It wasn't like I made that decision. I made that choice. To me, it seems, it looks, it, it feels that way. It's very clear that something bigger than me makes these decisions and influences what appears to be my choice, but influences my choice and decisions. And then I go in that direction. And a lot of times in the beginning, it's like they're showing you the gates to heaven. It looks really amazing. This is it. And you're really happy and you got all your backpack and everything with you. And you're going to go into heaven but it turns to be hell. Yeah, I mean, this is just the way it goes. And um, 
And then, you know, your consciousness starts to expand. You begin to come out of this me, the me thing, the ego, I am separated thing. And you start expanding, expanding. And then you start to see, you begin to get glimpses of the big picture. You start to see like, oh, there is an intelligence much bigger than my egoic intelligence is pulling the strings, is at work here. There's a force that is at work here. But this was only an example on the negative side, okay? How about the times that something happened that you're about to die, you, you're in a car accident and the car is rolling down the hill six or seven times and nothing happens to you. Or you're, you, you're in the ocean, you're about to be drowned and somehow miraculously in the last moment you're saved. Or the stories we hear from the soldiers that in the war, the entire company gets shot and, and blown away to pieces and one person in the middle of the fire, nothing happens to them. And they just walk out of this battle free and clear and nothing happened to them, you know? And there are times that these people become highly spiritual because they feel like everyone around me got shot and got killed and I was right there and nothing happened to me. And it's like, it was, it was definitely not my choice because all my company got killed and I'm the only one that was saved. And they feel some something much bigger than them carried them through this battle. And I'm sure some of you have experienced that. Nice seeing you all. Sending you lots of love and light.